Hi there, Dave here. Today I thought I'd show you this DVD drive. The drive's tray has got stuck halfway out. So when I press this open close button, you can see that it's getting stuck and struggling to go in or out. Now, I've known other people to have this problem and they thought that perhaps it was a virus or a problem with Windows. Well, the actual problem is the mechanics inside the drive itself. Perhaps something's got stuck, or it may be that something's broken inside the DVD drive. Now, quite often you can fix this by moving the drive tray around and it becomes unstuck. So you can try pushing it in, just gently but firmly pull it out or push it in, try pushing it up. Let's try pressing the button again. Now let's try pulling it down a bit. Let's see if that helps. Let's try that again. That's it. So if you get a problem like this with your DVD drive, where the drive tray is stuck halfway out. Moving the drive tray around, moving it up and down, left and right, can often solve this problem. If it doesn't, you can take the DVD drive apart, but I don't think it's really worth it, as you can buy these DVD drives now for under £12. Or you could take a DVD drive out of an old computer, and then you'll have a replacement DVD drive for free. Now it doesn't take very long to replace the DVD drive, so let's see how long it takes. First of all, ground yourself. And if your power supply has an on-off switch, then switch it off. Now let's take the side panel off so that we can get to the DVD drive from inside the case. Next, we can take these cables out of the back of the DVD drive. So let's take the data cable out and the power cable. So to take the DVD drive out of the case, quite often these are held in by some kind of clip like this one, or it may be screwed in. On this one, we can just pull the clip out push the DVD drive forward and out of the case. Now with some cases the DVD drive might not be held in by some kind of clip like this. It might be screwed in just on this side or it might be screwed in on both sides in which case you'd have to take the other side panel off of your computer case. And there are some cases where you have to take the front panel off to get the DVD drive out or a section of the front panel. Most DVD drives these days use SATA connections at the back of its drive. That's the most popular these days. But if your DVD drive uh, has connections at the back like this, then you have a PATA drive. This is a much older style drive. The only reason I mention this PATA drive is because you might be salvaging a DVD drive from your old computer. So if your current computer has connections like this and you're salvaging one that has PATA connections like this, then this drive is no good for your current computer. Just about all computers that were made around 2008-2009 were built with uh, DVD drives with SATA connections. So the chance is very high that you'll have a DVD drive with these connections at the back. So once you have your replacement DVD drive, make sure it's the right way up, slide it in, and then lock it into place with your computer screws or clips, however it was 
held into place before. Now we can plug in the DVD drive's power cable and its data cable. Now notice with these cables there's a kind of a L shape in the middle of the connector and the same with this one too. That's because these cables only go in one way round as you can see there's like an L shaped plastic piece in the middle here and here. So let's plug this in right way up. That's the power cable in and the data cable as well. So that's the DVD drive in place with its cables plugged in as well. So let's put the side panel back on now and screw it into place. And once you have all of your cables back in, in the back of your computer case, if your power supply has a switch, make sure you turn it back on again. Okay, so I've powered up the computer now. So let's see if the drive tray works on this new DVD drive. Yep, yeah, and that's fixed that. So if your DVD drive tray is stuck halfway out, Try moving the tray around a little to see if it will realign itself. If it doesn't, then replacing the DVD drive is a cheap and easy option. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.